It's shaping up as the biggest and most expensive courtroom drama in Australia's legal history. Two family dynasties feuding for decades, Australia's richest women at war and at stake, billions. This is absolutely the battle of the rich list. There's eight rich listers facing off in court here with a combined wealth well in excess of 50 or 60 billion dollars. The ultimate feud between family friends. I'm not sure if it's the most expensive legal case in Australia's history, but if it's not, it must be close. Filthy rich daughters of mining pioneers Lang Hancock and Peter Wright playing dirty. Gina Reinhardt and Angela Bennett. Something we've never seen the likes of before. Two very familiar and insanely wealthy names on Michael Bailey's Australian Financial Review annual rich list. Now, reputations, legacies and mining royalties worth billions are at stake. And both women paying top dollar to get their hands on it all, according to Justin Quill from major law firm Thompson Gear. Oh, look, this is an eye-watering amount of legal costs that's going to be involved in this. With 20 barristers, I would be very surprised if we were talking less than 25 million, probably more like 30 or even 35 million dollars. Two family trees with rich roots sprouting from the Hope Downs iron ore mines in WA. A handshake deal between Lang Hancock and Peter Wright delivered unimaginable wealth to their daughters, Gina and Angela. Gina Reinhart, worth $38 billion, and Angela Bennett, worth nearly $5 billion. But the girls are wrestling for the mine's rights and royalties worth billions. If Angela wins, a $5 billion pot and future billions would flow to her and her nieces, Leonie Baldock and Angela Burt. But if Gina wins, she faces even more pressure from her estranged kids, Bianca and John Hancock. They're suing their mum for a half share in the Hope Downs operation. You know, when I have an argument with my mum, it means a few less roast potatoes on the table at Sunday dinner. Um, this is a fair bit different to that. The family company of late Pilbara trucker and prospector Don Rhodes also wants a slice of the action. While watching the trouble unfold from the sidelines, Rio Tinto, which has a half share in the mines. This case has been going for over a decade. Um, the trial will be tens of millions of dollars, but there's probably already been tens of millions of dollars uh, spent. I'd say there's been a few holiday homes bought for a few barristers and solicitors out there. I want to kill the opposition. Families fighting for fortunes have entertained us on the small screen for years. In the hit show Dallas, it was the Texans feuding over oil. More recently, a media empire in succession. Look, this really is like an episode of succession. You've got people fighting over billions of dollars. Now this all Aussie assault really is life imitating art. The succession issues when two founders leave a legacy and, and leave the following generations to sort of work it all out. Gina's known to be a hard woman under a hard hat. It's all happening in Australia. If I die tomorrow, the project's here. But Angela's a dead set recluse. Google, Angela Bennett and Sandra Bullock will likely pop up in a 90s thriller movie. Tell them that it's Angela Bennett. Lang Hancock and Peter Wright's original mining partnership deal was scrawled by hand on a bit of paper. They've long since passed. Just what would the old timers be thinking now? I think they'd be somewhat aghast. They always did things on a, on a fairly uh, informal basis and, and on a lot of trust. But obviously as the years go by and more and more family members uh, become involved, uh, things fall into dispute. Would you spend 25 million to protect billions of dollars? I think the answer is probably yes. 